Cleveland Cavaliers have signed Chandler Vonneran on an Exhibit 10 contract after, I don't know what he did last season. I don't because he wasn't in the G League. He did not sign with an NBA team. And I can't find him doing really much else. So I don't really know where he was last season. But in college, as you can see, he played for Winthrop. So um, let's just take a look at his stats there because that's about all we have to go off of. So in college, he spent three years with Winthrop. His first year, he redshirted though, so we're not going to look at that. In 2021, he averaged 12 points per game. One a steal, seven assists, and seven and a half rebounds. It's very well-rounded numbers. Oh, I guess he transferred his rookie year. I don't really know how that makes sense, but I guess that's what happened. Now, three-point percentage. You know I'm a sucker for three-point percentage. 37.5%, but that's only on two attempts per game in 25 games. He played a lot, though. played 31.5. I don't know why he didn't shoot more than two threes per game. I do like that percentage. It's a solid percentage because he is a 6'7 forward. So this dude definitely could have an NBA future if he could keep that three-point percentage up. 12 points per game isn't much. It really isn't. But he's so well-rounded that seven rebounds and what was it? Seven rebounds, seven assists, as well as a steal per game, which was a steal and a half the year before. So, yeah, this dude... Pretty solid, honestly. I think it's good signing by the, the Cavaliers. Um, his only weakness, really, is he needs to be able to score the basketball a little bit better, and I think he needs to shoot the three ball more. So, all in all, I like the signing for the Cavaliers. I think that uh was a smart move by them. Uh, I don't know if he'll actually make the final roster, because I don't know if they have a two-way spot available, but I definitely think if they did, I would be interested in giving it to him. Because I think he's a little bit of a curious player. I don't know what he did last year. If he can shoot more threes, he's going to score more. And that kind of fixes all the problems I can see from him. And he was able to steal the basketball pretty dang well. So I'm not really fully worried about the defensive side of things. I haven't actually watched him play, so I don't totally know. But from what I have seen, I do like this player as a prospect. Don't know his age. Let's check that right now, actually. Um, because that, that'll that basically make or break. He's probably like 21, I would guess. 21, 22-ish. He is 25. Ooh. He played college bas- basketball for the Walsh Cavaliers. That must be like a Division two or something. And then he transferred. Okay. Okay, so I don't totally know what he did last year. I still can't find it. So anyway, basically, I like the signing. I think it's a good idea for them, and that's about my thoughts. He's probably going to get waived after training camp or preseason unless he signs a two-way contract. Let me know what you guys think, though. Probably see him play for the Cavaliers G League team, so uh, hit the subscribe button, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.